everyone, and welcome to the RV Inspection and Care podcast and video. I'm Dwayne. I'm a certified RV inspector, and today we're going to be talking about my winning formula for both buying and owning an RV. Now, everybody wants to buy and own the RV of their dreams, the one they've been looking forward to, but there's lots of negativity online about buying and owning RVs. So how can you avoid all of those negative experiences and be a happy and satisfied RV owner instead? Well, I'm going to give you five ways to do that today. The first one we're going to start with is know which RV brands to buy. Now, don't listen to the people out there that are going to tell you that all RVs are garbage, they're all just trash, or that all RV brands are pretty much the same. It's just not true. The truth is some brands do turn out better quality products overall than others do. They just have a better culture of quality in their production process, and they have better relations with the workforce and so on down the line. So find out who those good brands really are, and then you'll be way ahead of the game. Now, you can do a lot of research online to find out who those brands are, or you could really just get the information right away because I've created guidebooks on buying RVs that can really help here. I've made them on class A's, class B's, class C's, super C's, fifth wheels, and on travel trailers. And in the guidebooks, I give you the brands and the models that I recommend to focus on first when you're going out RV shopping. Now, by using the guidebooks that way, it will put the odds on your side right away that you're going to get a good RV as you shop. Let's move on to number two on our list, and that is don't buy any RV, new or used, without an RV inspection, a certified NRVIA inspection. The reason for that is the inspector is going to go through that RV from top to bottom, and they're going to give you a full report on everything in that RV. You're going to know what kind of shape it's in before you buy it. My friends, this is the best insurance I know of against getting a problem RV, a money pit that has hidden issues that you couldn't see when you bought it and comes out later on. Now, here's a caution here, though. Do not settle for what's called a dealer PDI or pre-delivery inspection. You're going to get some dealers tell you, you don't need an RV inspection. We do a very thorough pre-delivery inspection that's just as good as what an inspector would do. Let me tell you for sure, I don't know of a single pre-delivery inspection by any dealer anywhere that comes anywhere close to the one that will be performed by a certified NRVIA inspector. So don't fall for that old line that you don't need an RV inspector. Get the inspection. Number three on our list of being a happy RV buyer and owner is once you have the inspection report. The inspectors provided that for you. There's going to be a list of problems that was found. Get all of those problems fixed before you take delivery of the RV. And go one step further on that as well. And that is, once they have said they've repaired these issues, go back and double check. Make sure that it was repaired correctly and to your satisfaction. 
Now, if you don't follow this advice and you wait until you have taken the RV home already before you come back with a list of problems, most often you're going to get stuck in their RV service line because you see the dealer already has the money. They already know that they've got that money and therefore they have no incentive to take care of your issue in a timely way on your timetable. Instead, you've got to wait for them to do it. The problem is that getting into a service line at a dealership could stretch out months and it could sometimes even be years before people get the RV that they actually paid for originally. So don't fall for that. Start RV ownership off right. Get the RV issues fixed right away before you take ownership. And that way, when you go home, you can go RVing right away and have a great RV to do it in. Now let's move on to number four on our list. And that is that all RVs are going to need maintenance and they're going to need to be repaired at some point. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. And getting service at RV dealers and at RV repair facilities can be frustratingly slow these days because there's just such a shortage of qualified RV service techs. So what I recommend is to avoid all of that frustration and irritation that goes along with that part of the RV life. I recommend that instead you learn how to maintain and repair the smaller items on your RV yourself. Now, there's a lot of places that can teach you that, but my recommendation is RVTA.com. They have a very good program. They will teach you what you need to know to take care of your RV. And if you do the maintenance like you're supposed to do, you can avoid most of the major repair problems that people experience. But even if there are repairs that need to be done, roughly 80% of the problems that go on on RVs can be repaired and fixed by the average RV owner with just a little bit of knowledge. So get the knowledge, get the education, learn what you can do to take care of the vast majority of problems with your RV. Now, the last point we're going to consider in my five steps for being a happy RV owner and buyer is to avoid potential expensive repair bills by getting a service contract. Some people call them extended warranties. I don't think it's really as good a term as service contract because what you're doing is you're insuring against major RV repairs. In my opinion, these are best for motorhomes because of the addition of that drivetrain, you know, the engine and the transmission. But it's especially good for large diesel RVs because drivetrain repairs can be very expensive there. A service contract can help you manage the potential costs of RV repairs on the bigger, costlier items that come along. And so you won't have this huge repair bill come up that you're unprepared for. I recommend that you use a company called Wholesale Warranties for a service contract. They've been around for years. They have a very solid reputation in the RVing community, especially among the full-timers, and they're a broker, so they can help you choose the service contract that's actually going to work best for you and your particular situation. So I'll put a link to Wholesale Warranties in the description of both the video and the podcast for you. Now, we bought a service contract when we first started full-time RVing, and it worked out great for us. 
we've replaced some major items with it, including two air conditioners. So it really worked well. But even if it hadn't, what I really wanted was the peace of mind that I was not going to have some really incredibly expensive repair bill on the diesel engine and drivetrain on my RV. So it was well worth the money that we spent. Okay, now my last thing that I want to share with you in this video today is don't listen to the naysayers online, all the negativity and the drama that they spread around. If you hear them complaining about RVs and all of that, ask them, did they follow this five-step formula that I just shared with you today? If they didn't, they didn't do it right. But you don't have to have those kind of experiences. I'm confident that this formula will help you instead be a very happy and satisfied RV owner. And that's it for now. Have safe and happy travels, my friends, until next time.